One of the big benefits of having a hands-on lab is the ability to practice our configurations and when needed, revert back to a previous state. And that way we can practice the same component or same part over and over again, reverting back to a previous state. So in this video, I'd like to walk you through two things. Number one, I'd like to walk you through how to get around the restriction of no snapshots for the NSX manager. And then secondly, a strategy going forward for using snapshots. We can return to a specific point when we need to, to get that hands-on practice with whatever technology we're currently studying. So to bring us up to speed, make sure we're all on the same sheet of music. Here is our current nested lab environment. We have three ESXi hosts at these IP addresses. That's their VM kernel adapters on the management network of 192.168.1. Then we have the vCenter, our nested vCenter at dot .35. This can represent our management workstation that we're sitting at, also on that management network. And then we just deployed in the previous video, the NSX manager at dot .21. And at the moment, the NSX manager is powered off. So here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to walk you through how we can do a graceful shutdown of our nested lab environment. And at this point in our game plan, the shutdown process would be a graceful shutdown of the nested vCenter environment, and then a graceful shutdown of ESXi A, B, and C. And then once we have walked through the process of doing a graceful shutdown of our nested lab environment, the second thing I'd like to walk you through is to edit the VMX file for our NSX manager. It's currently powered off and edit it to specify that we want to allow at least one or two snapshots on that VM. So we'll edit the NSX manager VMX file and I'll walk you through how to do that here in just a moment. And then once we have everything shut down and we've also edited the NSX VMX file, we can then go ahead and proceed to create our snapshots. And I would encourage you going forward to not really keep more than just a single snapshot. So for example, let's say we're working with routing in an NSX environment or working with LDAP integration or whatever it is, I would encourage you to take a snapshot with everything powered off prior to working on that and then practice, 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 revert back, revert back, revert back as many times as you want to. And then when you're done with that component and it's all perfect, you can then go ahead and remove the old snapshots, create new snapshots, and move forward. And also for consistency, I would encourage you that whenever we're working with snapshots and creating new snapshots, to do it with our entire nested environment powered off. And that way we have nice known states and we're not gonna have any surprises or huge latency issues as we try to capture the state of RAM on those VMs. All right, so with that in mind, let me walk you through, first of all, a graceful shutdown of our nested environment vCenter server, and also a graceful shutdown of our nested ESXi hosts. And in that light also, I just wanna log in to the nested vCenter for a moment, just to make sure that we have no additional VMs that are currently running that we also need to gracefully shut down. At this point, there shouldn't be too many VMs that are running. However, I just wanna take a quick peek. All right, so here we are logged on to our single sign-on domain in our nested environment. And there are our three ESXi hosts. There's A and B and C. So let's go all the way to the top at the vCenter level and click on the VMs tab just to confirm we have no other VMs other than what vCenter has in place for its own operations. All right, looks like we're good here. So we can go ahead and log out of the vSphere client in our nested environment. And then we'll bring up the management console for our nested vSphere environment. And that is right here, so we'll go ahead and log in. And then from here, we'll click on Actions, and we'll click on Shutdown for a beautiful, graceful shutdown of our nested vCenter. And that'll just take a moment or two to complete, so we'll let that complete. So our vCenter is on the way down as far as a graceful shutdown. Also, in a previous video, we migrated that over from running on one of our nested ESXi hosts, and we migrated over to our physical host, ESXi6. And that's just for some better performance. We also deployed the NSX manager in a previous video over to a physical host as well. So our next step is to do a graceful shutdown of these hosts. So we just verified that there's no VMs that are running on those ESXi hosts. So we can actually do a shutdown of these three VMs, a graceful shutdown of the guest OS from the parent vSphere environment. So this represents ESXi 6. And on ESXi 6, we have the vCenter that's running in conjunction with ESXi 6. And so the fastest way to go ahead and shut down these three VMs is from our parent vCenter, and we can just do a graceful shutdown right from there. So we're gonna hop over to the parent or physical environment with the vCenter there and do a graceful shutdown of VMs for ESXi A and B and C. Also previously, when we were working with the parent vSphere environment, I was using dark mode, but I was having some problems with buttons. There's buttons that were not working. <laughs> to make it easier just to navigate, I've changed it back to the lighter theme. And just to confirm though, we are in the single sign-on domain up here, vSphere.physical, and we have one host, that's ESXA6. And if you go to the VM and templates view, I created a folder called active VMs for nested lab. And here is the VMs for ESXA A, B, 
and C. There's also here the VM for our nested vCenter server and it's currently showing as powered off and that's because we just did a graceful shutdown. So, so I'm going to click on that folder and with the VMs tab selected here, I'll just go ahead and select A, B, and C and right click and from the drop down, click on power and then from that sub menu, do a graceful shutdown with this option right here, shut down guest OS, which will do a nice graceful shutdown of each of those VMs. So that's a very quick and easy way once we're confirmed that there's no critical VMs running on those ESXi hosts, that's an easy way to shut them all down. All right, so now that those three ESXi hosts that are running as VMs are gracefully being shut down, let me clean this up just a little bit and let's take a look at our next step. Our next step, if we wanna make a snapshot of the NSX manager, our next step is then to edit the VMX file in the lab environment here so that it allows the ability to do snapshots because by default, no snapshots are allowed. And there's a good reason for that. In a production environment, instead of just having one NSX manager, we're likely going to have a cluster of managers who are all communicating real time with each other. And if we snapshot one of those, then restore it later, that's gonna cause a problem with that interaction. But in our lab environment, because we're just gonna use one NSX manager, and it doesn't have to communicate with other devices. If we power it off, allow snapshots, and then create and use snapshots, it's not gonna cause a hiccup because it doesn't have to interact with any other NSX managers in the same cluster. So our next step then is to edit the NSX VMX file for the recently deployed NSX manager. And again, we deployed that one over here in the physical host. So we're gonna go back to our vSphere environment over here and edit that NSX manager's VMX file. So back at the vSphere.physical single sign-on domain, we now have ESXi A and B and C, which are all powered off, fantastic. So let's go modify the files for the NSX manager. So we'll select NSX manager, that VM, and let me just click on data stores. It's currently using ESXi 6 data store, so we'll click there to go to that data store, and we're on the files tab. And let's go find the VMX. So if we click on this one, NSX manager for nested lab, there's just a VMDK there. So let's click on this NSX manager, this folder. Uh, there we go. And then I just want to double check here and sure enough, there's just a hard disk there. So we'll go back to the folder for NSX-manager. Let me collapse the left-hand side so we can see a little bit better. And here's our VMX file right here. So we haven't yet powered on the NSX manager. So I'm going to go ahead and select that file, the VMX file. And I'm going to go ahead and download that specific file to my local management computer. And I need to allow pop-ups to continue downloading. So I'll go ahead and allow that. All right, so in my browser, I allowed pop-ups. Let's go ahead and try that download one more time. Fantastic, so that downloaded it to my downloads folder. So here is my downloads folder and there is the nsxmanager.vmx. I'll right click on that and I'll say, let's open that with, and I'm gonna choose notepad for just once. And here is that file. So if we do a control F and we look for snap and press enter, it'll take us down to this section right here. So snapshot dot max snapshots equals zero. We wanna go ahead and make that something more. So if we use two, I wouldn't recommend you keep two or more snapshots, but if we want at least one, we need to change that to at least a minimum value of one. So we'll go ahead and save that. So file and save, fantastic, we'll close that. And then let's go back in the vSphere client and go back to the NSX manager to its files. And I'm gonna go ahead and rename this one as vmx org for original. So with it selected, we'll click on the three dots because of the font size here. It's not able to show me everything across the top. So I'll click on the three dots for more and click rename to, and I'll call this .org and click on okay. All right, and then I'll simply copy the edited file, which allows snapshots back up to this folder. So I'll go ahead and click right here and upload, go back to my downloads folder and just grab that file that we edited a moment ago. So we'll double click on it. That's now uploading it to this folder. And there it is. So now if we attempt to make a snapshot of the NSX manager VM, because that snapshot is not prohibited in the VMX, it'll allow it to happen. So once again, we're here in the vSphere.physical single sign-on domain. So let's go back to the VM and templates view right here. Let's go back into this folder called active VMs for nested lab. And now we can go ahead and select all these VMs. Currently they're powered off. There's ESXi A and B and C. There's our NSX manager for which we just modified its VMX file. Then we have our vCenter server VM right here. And all of those are currently powered off. So what we can do is simply select all of them, right click, and then from here, just click on snapshots. And then from here, we can simply click on take snapshot. Now, in the event that you just finished a lab exercise, you wanna save everything the way it was and you had previous snapshots, at this point with everything powered off, you'd simply select delete all snapshots, give that as long as it takes to remove all the snapshots. And then once it's done, you can then go ahead and take a new snapshot of everybody. So even though I don't currently have snapshots of these VMs, let me click here on delete all snapshots, click on delete all. And if we look at recent tasks, 
it just showed that that was completed. Now there wasn't anything really to delete. And then when we're ready, we can right click with all those VMs selected, click on snapshots one more time. And then from the submenu, click on take snapshot. And if you want to put a description, that's great. In fact, let's do that. And I'm going to name this just before powering on NSX manager and we'll click on create. And now we have snapshots for all five of these VMs as part of our nested lab environment. So if we look at recent tasks and I'll go ahead and say, I want to see all recent tasks. We can see here that it just created the snapshots for all those VMs. And the process is super fast because they are all powered off. So if we minimize recent tasks, then we just take a peek at some of these VMs. We'll click on ESXIA, go to snapshot, and sure enough, there's our snapshot. Same with B and C and NSX Manager and vCenter, just as a sanity check that we have those snapshots. And just as a heads up, as we start adding additional VMs, for example, edge nodes and so forth, there will be a few additional steps in the graceful shutdown before we remove and recreate new snapshots. So just be aware that the process is going to evolve over time regarding a graceful shutdown and snapshots, but have no fear, I'll walk you through it every step of the way. So now that we have our snapshots in place, let me go ahead and walk through the powering up of our entire nested lab environment. So to do that here in the vSphere.physical single sign-on domain on the parent physical host, we'll go ahead and go to that folder where we have all those VMs. We'll select all of them and we'll right click and just click on power and power on. So that's gonna power on our vCenter, our nested vCenter, the NSX manager for the first time, and also the host A, B, and C. So those are all on their way up. And once they're up, we can take the next logical step, and that is to do further work with the NSX manager to tell it, hey, guess what? There's a vCenter that you can use and work with, and that's what we get to do as far as the initial configuration for our NSX manager in the next video. So I'll see you there in just a moment.